Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much good depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos. Today is Saturday, the 17th day of December 2024. Happy weekend. I bring this update. We are going back to the barracks in order to put to end civilian military conflict. That's according to the Chief of Defense Staff. Oh, yes. Now, the Nigerian military said they are gaining grounds in the war against insurgency and therefore they are planning to go back to barracks yes they said they are returning back to barracks now the chief of defense staff general christopher musa said regimentation will play a crucial role in maintaining discipline and effectiveness among troops during this period he said the decision to return soldiers to barracks is aimed at providing young soldiers and officers with more experience and exposure to military life, ensuring they are better equipped to handle future challenges. According to him, this is a deliberate effort to re-establish the traditional military culture and discipline. Yira Musa gave the hint at the unveiling of Armed Forces of Nigeria Tattoo 2025 logo on Friday at Defense Headquarters in Abuja. In his statement, quote, we want to bring back the regimentation and discipline that is associated with the military life. We believe that this will help to improve the overall performance and the effectiveness of our soldiers. We want to allow them to experience the camaraderie and the esprit de corps that comes with living and working together in a military environment. We want to reassure the civil population that we are committed to protecting them and their interest. By returning to barracks, we are demonstrating our commitment to our traditional role as protectors of the nation. Regimentation is what keeps the military moving. It's what teaches soldiers to follow commands and work together as a team, even in the face of adversity. We are committed to pro protecting Nigerians and Nigeria and we want to work together with the civil population to build a safer and more secure country. We need the understanding and cooperation of the civil population as we make this transition. We are committed to working together to build a safer and more secure Nigeria. And that quote. Now, this is the statement from the Nigerian military chief, the chief of defense staff, Musa. Musa declaring now that the military, they have to return back to the barracks. Oh, yes. May they stay for rule, they collect money. May they not go back. Yes, may they stay for rule, they collect money and they collect water, water at the same time. Because uh, if you go to civil civilized climbs, don't see these people on the road collecting illegal tolls. Oh, yes. Don't see them on the road. You can only see them in a, in a, in a third world, third world country that abuses human rights anyhow. Oh yes, that's where you see them. Anywhere you see them standing on the road collecting illegal tolls, know that is country that is backward, backward country. In fact, fourth world, not even third world. Fourth world, like Yemen and Afghanistan. Yes, Sudan. That's why you see this kind of thing. So these are the countries competing with Nigeria in the area of human rights abuses, underdevelopment, backwardness, retrogression, poverty. Yes, this is hunger. They are doing competition. Of course, Nigeria is the poverty capital of the world. It has been established. The poverty capital, poverty capital of the world. Oh yes, so that's where this kind of thing is happening. Soldiers on the road collecting illegal tolls and at the same time collecting water, water. Now, the chief of the first staff said they don't want more water, water. They want to go back to barracks, to their base. They say that is their base. That's where they're supposed to be. No, stay for roads. Stay for road. They collect money. No, go back to your station. Barracks. Military stays in the barracks. That's where they stay. The army. They stay in the barracks. They are not police that stays, you know, within the civilian population. 
But these guys, they enjoy collecting illegal tolls, illegal money. They want to be on the road. They want to be with the civilian population. They want to be everywhere. If you go to the barracks, you will not see a single soul there. Nobody is there. They are not there. They are on every nook and cranny. Yes, of the civilian population, roaming. You've seen it. In any before, they will be invading communities without provocation. Invading villages, setting them ablaze without provocation. Oh yes, because of this, uh, you know, movement for this association with civilian population. See, military, the way they have been trained, they stay in the barracks. They only come out on a special need. Yes, special need. They will go back immediately. If there is need for them to come out, you know. But this one, they have overstayed their welcome. They have been politicized. The Nigerian army have been politicized. Politicians have been using them. Imagine House of Rep members, commissioners in various states, using the army as escort. Military as escort. Army, they escort them. They escort their wife. They escort them go latrine, toilet. They escort their wife go market. Army. You see? So, before they will resume this their image, I don't know. I don't know. So now they say they are going back to their barracks. How soon? He says soon. Soon. By 2025, they will start movement. Say they will start in phases. So, may they stay for road. When they stay for South East Road, they collect uh, money. They collect money. They collect uh, water, water. So, that is it. May they stay. So, because we have been asking the governors of the South East, what's happening? These people that station themselves on the road, collecting illegal tolls, extortion, the army, what's happening? Is that the culture? They kept mute. Now, waiting go pursue them for inside, don't come. Waiting go pursue them for inside, don't come. Water, water. Water, water, don't come. They won't go inside. Nobody is there for outside. Nobody is there for outside. They collect money. Nonsense. But they stay for us. They extort, harass, intimidate, embarrass innocent uh, citizens, innocent Biafrans. Oh, yes. So, that is it. Woto, woto. Ame, going back to the barracks. Oh, yes. Going back to the barracks. But they stay for it. That is it. So our people have been saying it, have been watching it. Say, what kind of you know military organization is this? Yes, what kind of organization is this that allowed these guys to be on the road? They are not organized. In the past, people believed that oh, the army, they are one of the best organized uh, institution. But what kind of organization is that allow people to be on the road? You will see, in fact, we counted over hundred in the entire side is before. Over 100, about a month ago. Yes, we counted over 100 military checkpoints, army checkpoints in the entire southeast. So, what are you doing on the road? Is that how to do security work? Yeah, to militarize the entire region. Is that how to do security work? To be on the streets, showing brute force against civilians. So, that is what is happening. Water, 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 water. They are going back to the barracks.